This business is running these ads and generating $800,000 every single month. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can enter any business and with AI, essentially look at the ads that the business is running, recreate them as better versions of your own ads and run them and start taking in some customers. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can enter any business and with AI, essentially look at the ads that the business is running, recreate them as better versions of your own ads and run them and start taking in some customers. All right, I'm going to walk you through the exact AI workflow that I use to recreate, you know, any of these image ads and turn them into ads of my own. So without further ado, let's get right into this. This business is running these ads and generating $800,000 every single month. Okay. Now in a previous video, we did a full deep breakdown. I think this was two days ago about, or, or four days ago, I'm not sure about this particular product, how they're selling this ring as a solution for menopause, as a solution for bloating, as a solution for anxiety. Okay. It uses acupressure and magnetism to basically help sort of fix these issues that uh, primarily are uh, within women, right? So this is an ad, These and these, this ring is being promoted with these type of image ads. Now, I showed you in the last video how you could launch this business as your own with white label dropshipping. We created a white label version of the exact same store, and we did all that fun stuff. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use AI ads and basically, model some of the best performing ads that these guys are running and run them as your own. And all you need is chat GPT and one AI employee. I'm going to show you how to get access to the AI employee towards the end of the video. But right now, just watch in real time what happens. Okay, so look at this. The FUPA killer, women swear by. So FUPA is basically just another word for belly fat, right? So if you wanted to run this same ad, right, all you do is save this image, Okay, and drop it into my AI employee that I've created right here. Okay, so I've gone ahead, I've taken this. Okay, I'm just going to find where it's downloaded. I'm just going to put it here. Okay, and now, okay, once I upload this ad, okay, what is what's going to happen is it's going to do a forensic ad blueprint in real time. It's going to understand the visual composition, which is essentially how things look and where things are. Okay, it's going to understand how the camera has been angled. It's going to understand the lighting of the image. It's going to understand the font selection in the text. It's going to understand the badges, the emotional core, right? And then very importantly, it's going to understand the direct response triggers. So direct response triggers are direct response marketing as an art form is like dying. I feel like not many people are talking about like how to direct response marketing is somebody sees your ad and or your marketing material, and then they immediately decide that they need to purchase your offer. Okay, that's what that's the core of direct response marketing. And so what are those triggers in there, right? So there's uh, there's a BOGO offer, there's social proof, there's emotional relief, right? Then there, what is the promise of the ad? And then the biggest thing that it does is that it does a weakness diagnosis. It says, what is, what about this ad could we improve? After understanding all of these things, there are things about this ad that could still be improved, right? And so that's what it's doing. So it's saying that this FUPA headline may alienate certain audiences, uh, the product isn't explained properly, no visual proof, the CTA badge is visually imbalanced, the background is too plain, okay? So now it's saying, you may upload a reference image if you like, but if you want the exact same product, um, we can, we can use, we can use this exact, or we can use the exact same product for the improved version of the ad. So my AI employee studies an already existing ad, understands what makes it great, uh, understand what makes it great, looks and analyzes the weaknesses and creates better ads. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay. So I'm going to go, no, you know what? Um, hold on. I'm just going to say, uh, would you like to provide or shall I proceed with the upgraded? So I, I say, I, I'm just going to say proceed with the upgraded version. Okay. So proceed with the upgraded version. Okay. 
And now it's going to create a reframing and improvement plan. Okay. So it's going to upgrade the creative concept. Okay. It's going to look at what made this creatively great. And it's going to be like, okay, how can I upgrade it? It's going to rewrite the headline, the hook. It's going to agitate the problem. It's going to reveal the solution. It's going to look at all of these things. Okay. And it's going to create an upgraded version of this ad. Okay. And it's going to say, Hey, can I go ahead and design it? Right. I'm just going to say yes. I think it's going to go through one more iteration of uh, planning. It's going to plan where, you know, the exact pixel of where everything is. And again, this is what a person should do. What we do when we create AI employees here is we basically, and this, they all run on ChatGPT because I don't have the ability to understand all these new fancy AI tools. I understand ChatGPT so I can do that. And so it's going to prepare the spec, okay? Um, and it's going to prepare everything, like uh, how the canvas should look, what the product is, what the text is, what the font is, what the CTA is, what the camera angle is, any badges, how should you export it, okay? And then it's saying, do you want me to generate this branded image? I just say yes. And boom, it's going to go ahead and start generating this image. Okay. Now, you know, every AI tool makes errors. I'm not sure. I'm, gonna, I'm doing this live in real time. It may, it may generate errors, but we'll show you how to fix them as well. But at the end of the day, if you can find an ad that your competitor is running, and if you can go ahead and build it out, but in a better version, Okay, you take the success that's already baked in and you improve upon it. You know, why wouldn't that ad work for you? And that's the entire basis of my program, White Label Dropshipping. We take stores that already exist and we recreate them and we make them a tiny bit better, a tiny bit more persuasive. Okay, and we essentially make sure that we don't lose the, the, the success elements of the ad. Okay, so let's see what it's come up with. Look at this. The tiny magnetic ring that flattens your lower belly naturally targets stubborn bloating tra trap. Look at this. That's insane. Okay, so this is what it was just saying is the Fupa killer women swear by targets stubborn lower belly bulge naturally. Okay, look at this. The tiny magnetic ring that flattens your lower belly naturally targets stubborn bloating, trap tension, and activating natural slimming points. Dude, like this, this, just this sub headline is a killer, is a killer. And look at this, 20,000 happy customers, 20,000 women transformed. So it's taken the elements of the ad that made it really good it upgraded it it showed the product off well as well and it all happened without you having to do anything okay and now this basically gives you superpowers because you can go into any ad that you like and you can essentially go ahead and create a much better version okay let's take a look at this ad um let's see let's see let's see what other ads we can do all right so i like this ad let's save it again let's drop it in here Okay, this is a pretty persuasive ad. So I'm I'm not even sure what improvements it's gonna come up with. Maybe it's all, it's too much is going on, right? So let's go, let's put this in, okay? So now again, as soon as your ad is ready, it's going to re redo it, right? It's going to uh, understand again, every single element, the visual composition, the camera, the lighting, the typography, okay? And then all I do is say, yeah, oh, look at this overcrowded lower section i thought that was a little bit of a weakness heavy discounting okay may signal low perceived that's good product placement too small oh okay fair enough brand presence uh, must be removed so it knows that we can't call this product the same brand right and then lighting mismatch the product and the mo the model and the product appear from different scenes oh okay yeah it looks very AI generated. It's like it, it, the the model and the background, and it, it appear. It, do, it doesn't appear the same. See, I didn't even find these weaknesses. I like this. I like this. And yes. Now prepare the upgraded version. I mean, guys, truly, either you evolve and adapt and start using AI to make you better, or AI will take your job. Right now, if you were somebody who is an ad manager or an ad creative designer, this was your job before. Now. AI has come in and essentially you don't like if you were like a professional ad designer or whatever at an agency. Now AI can do your job, but you can 
start doing it better. You can start using these tools and instead of being able to just critique one ad a day, now you can do 50, 10, or 50 to 100 ads a day, right? And you can critique them, transform them and make it better. But the one thing AI can never replace is your intuition. Okay, so use AI to basically uh, enhance your intuition and 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 then there's something yeah people will some people will just use generic ai stuff but you need to use it and you need to put your intuition in and then when you combine those two you become unstoppable okay so really if you don't embrace ai then it'll take your job but if you embrace it it's it's going to be very difficult okay so now it's prepared a uh, a reframe and then it's going to prepare a f- execution spec. Let's see how it does that. All right, so it's prepared like a whole execution spec. Now upgrade, generate this. Now again, I'm gonna give a disclaimer. Sometimes AI, ChatGPT is not the best with like this type of ad. So if it doesn't, it doesn't, right? We continue to work with it to create ads. Sometimes it would just say, no, I can't generate. And that happens, right? It's AI. And then for that, typically you would have to then go to Canva or use another AI tool, right? Uh, But in my experience, if it's gotten this far, it should. But again, sometimes it's generated the image up until the end point and said, no, I can't generate it again. So it is what it is. But I like the fact that we diagnose the weaknesses. Hopefully at least you you learned and and I, I was able to show you that. So let's see. Creating the image, it may take a moment. Okay, it's producing the image, I like that. Let's see, let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's made a little bit of a mistake, but that one eye I can fix, okay? I stopped hiding under baggy clothes the day I found this ring. Dude, way better, man. Ours is way better. Ours is way better. It helped ease the bloating and tension that made me feel trapped in my, I stopped hiding under baggy clothes the day I found this ring. Oof. Good ad, man. I mean, we just need to fix this, but you could just uh, give uh, AI just, uh, or just right here, just be, just say, um, you put two eyes in here, I'll take it off, or you could go to Canva and just take this other eye out. But dude, great freaking ad. Let's do one more before the video ends. See, I'm not going to do this one. Okay, because I know it'll break. <laughs> it'll break the. It'll break it. It will. It will never generate someone in their underpants. So that you don't even try it. No AI tool with any ethics will do it. But I found one that's a crazy looking ad. Look at this one. Looking for Ozempic. <laughs> Whoa, this is a crazy one. I like this ad. I like this ad. Okay, let's see. Let's see what our AI tool can do uh with with this one right so let's put this let's put this in this is the last one we're gonna do right okay and see i'm like the weaknesses i think is the background is like not as good maybe but really i'm having it's say that the bottom is a little bit too cluttered okay but like i'm like legally risky Ooh, it's protecting you but i like the fact i like that but hey, that's good. Maybe maybe it will prevent us from running ads. I'll get us banned. Yeah, that's good. Let's see. Let's see what it changes the Zempic to, right? Because I remember when we were building this, I remember when we were building this AI employee, we said like, hey, dude, we can't produce something that'll get somebody into trouble. So let's put in those, uh, let's put in those uh, safeguard rails. And that's what, it's, uh, that's, that's what it's showing. Okay. Just say yes. Let's see what, let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's done a natural metabolism addition. So it's not going to say a Zumpic. Look at this. Balance your body naturally. No needles or pills. Fair enough. I had fair enough. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Let's say yes. But that's it, man. At the end of the day, if you have an image ad that you like for a product that's yours, use the AI ad rebuilder. Okay, it's linked in the bo- it's linked in the description. Now these a- uh, these AI employees that I generate they are paid, and they're paid because we put a ton of time and a ton of effort into building these. Okay, but if you have three clicks and it can generate this type of image for you, I mean, come on, come on right? Uh, it saves you a ton of time. It saves you having to mess around with like so many. There's Kling, there's Higgs field, there's X, Y, Z. And I'm going to start educating myself on this. Like I made it a goal to learn all of these other stuff. But 
I can't because ChatGPT and specifically these AI workflows that I work on make it so easy for me not to have to do all these and things. And yeah, okay, maybe with Higgs field and all this, there's a touch more realism that you can add. But dude, it, it's too much to learn. The payoff is in there, right? Okay, maybe with this, the realism is in, is in the highest. But I can get it fast. I can get it out faster. I can test. I can make money by the time people are just learning all these AI tools. I'm already making money. And that's what's important. Shit, this is good. This is good. It's beautiful. Balance your body naturally. No needles or pills. The magnetic acupressure ring supports circulation, eases bloating, and restores your body's naturally natural rhythm safely. And boom, we have it ready. I don't need to say anything more, guys. This has been awesome. Um, for for those of you guys who want uh, our AI ad rebuilder, it's going to be linked in the description below. Again, it's a master prompt that you put in. It turns ChatGPT into an AI employee and allows you to start taking any ad that you like, do a weakness diagnosis, and then make it better. Okay. And for those of you guys who like this business, like this particular product, and think, dude, if they're making what's it like eight hundred thousand dollars selling this product and what they're doing by the way is they're sending all of their traffic to this page to be able to do it right why couldn't i why couldn't i basically send my traffic to this page and start making sales you wouldn't be wrong if you can model and improve the page if you can model and improve the ads why couldn't you model and improve the page and that is what white label drop shipping is we find stores that are doing how much ever they are, and we essentially build white label versions of the exact same stores so that you can basically put this into your Shopify account or your Shop Funnels account and start running this as your own. We change out the branding, we change out the images, we change out the copy, right? But what we don't change is the success elements that were baked in, okay? And we give you this store to run as your own, okay? So you could essentially take the store, run it as your own. We've done all the supplier research. We found everything about this that you need to be able to make it work and we give it to you. And now that you have the funnel and now that you have the supplier, and now that you have the ad, what is stopping you from working? That's the entire program, White Label Dropship. We want to work with us on a much deeper level to figure out how you can launch these businesses as your own Check that for, uh, first link out in the description below. That's going to be white label dropshipping. The second link in the description is going to be the AI employer. Okay? And if you get white label dropshipping, you get all these AI employees, all of them um, included in there. And we'll show you how to use them to launch your business as well. All right. With that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, let me know in the comments if you want to learn anything else. And as, and as always, I'll catch you guys next one. Peace.